Yes, Gawa. <laughs> This video shows how to update the firmware in an MPIEC controller. Here's a quick preview of everything I'll show in this video. Log into the web server, choose Update Firmware, and select the firmware file. Confirm and reboot when the update completes. Now let's go through this procedure in more detail. As outlined in the MPIEC Quick Reference Guide, document number QRG.MP2000IECSeries.01. Upgrading controller firmware will often provide additional functionality or performance. However, if the controller is an existing installation, please review the application with Yaskawa before upgrading. If you're starting development of a new application, we do recommend updating the firmware in order to take advantage of these latest features. And in some cases, OEMs may want to downgrade the firmware level in order to match the controllers they already have in the field. So first you want to find out what the current firmware level is. Power up the controller, connect an Ethernet cable, and open the controller's web server by entering the controller IP address into Internet Explorer. The default IP address is 192.168.1.1, and can be applied by rebooting with the eInit switch on. For more connection details, please see the eLearning videos on setting the IP address of your PC and connecting to the controller. On the welcome page of the web server, you can verify the current firmware version number, and this way you can determine whether or not a firmware upgrade is required in the first place. The firmware file can be downloaded at yaskawa.com slash IEC FW. Choose the firmware file that corresponds to your controller. I'm demonstrating with the MB2600 IEC, but the process is the same for all IEC products. I'll download version 2.6 for the MP2600 IEC. However, I'm prompted to log in to yaskawa.com. After login, the zip file can be saved. If you don't have a login for yaskawa.com, you can request one or work with your Yaskawa rep to acquire the correct firmware file. Log in to the web server using admin with capital A, along with the password that corresponds to your controller. Different controller products use different passwords, and in this case, I'm using an MP2600 IEC, so the password is MP2600, all caps. Before attempting a firmware update, be sure all motion is stopped and that the machine is offline. One way to verify this is in machine operations. Under Update Firmware, the first step is to enable Supervisor Mode. Click Reboot Controller and Confirm. After about a minute, Supervisor Mode appears in red at the top left. Now back to Update Firmware, and you are allowed to browse for the firmware file that you downloaded. Navigate to the location of the firmware file and click Upload. After a few seconds, the confirmation screen indicates the old and new firmware versions. Click the Update button and Confirm. Completion will be indicated after about two minutes. Reboot the controller as directed. After the final reboot, the supervisor mode indication will no longer appear and firmware updated successfully appears on the welcome page with version information. Please see our videos on starting up from a project archive and starting a new project in MotionWorks IEC. Thanks for watching this video and remember yaskawa.com slash IEC for application notes, videos, firmware updates, and more.